free between B and Mister. The semi-finals. B's deepest run here in the road to Wallow so far. Let's see if he can make that finals. Spawning in on the southern part of the map, it is going to be B playing as the blue French, and on the north, it is going to be Mista playing as the Abbasid in red. And take a look at how this map has spawned, because it's a pretty interesting spawn we have over here for ourselves, including most of the relics being situated on the left side. I would call this a map that favors B from that perspective a tiny bit, but it's, it seems relatively even, honestly. Sacred Sight's also very close to those shorelines. And on the right side, we do have, I think, one hunt on top of a boar, which will make things pretty interesting as well. So oh, wow. you get the feel yeah. that there is a pretty massive stacking of resources on this map, especially towards the sides. If you take a look at the Goldwain spawns as well, there are key resources which hold a tremendous amount of resources, and there are some locations which are just almost barren. And I'm just thinking, like, the person playing as the French is B. So if anyone was going to go for a boar rush as the French, it might be him. It's funny as well, because the way it's balanced is kind of optimal. Like, yes, there's deer and boar together, but they're next to Mister's base, and Mister can't use them because he's playing as the Abbasids. So it's not like it's going to be an OP point that he can leverage. In fairness, even if he could, the berries plus going fish quicker via the cheaper docks is more desirable for him, which is why we already see the dock being built up by Mister. Uh, one curious thing to think about with the relics, like, it's not just that they slightly favor B. They heavily favor B because Abbasid players don't often actually find a way of going into relics in their builds. It's quite weird as well. I've seen a few players starting to do it in the recent weeks, but for the vast majority, it's still the last four in Abbasid players' minds. Yeah, I guess the idea is that at the beginning or like that intermediate period of the game, they just don't really have a ton of map control. So there is no um, possibility for them to pick it up. And by the time they really start moving out of their base, there is relatively minimal incentive to do it because they will be at like 120 villagers anyways or by the time they get to the point where they really start contesting map control the opponents have picked it up anyways now truth be told the french aren't super active when it comes to picking up relics either although we have seen an uptick of the use of early monasteries in castle age with the french but given the fact that the french love to spend their time in feudal age they usually delay their castle and as such mm. these relics might not be picked up until like the 30 35 minute mark even yeah, I think it's the case that, like, with the French, usually they're more inclined to go for the, for the monastery than the Abbasids because they foresee a hyper late game state is somewhat more desirable because you have Guildhall, and Guildhall is a big inflator. Now, you can talk about the fact that the Abbasids can trade, and they trade damn well, but that's be that's beyond the realm of, like, hyper late game. Like, we see plenty of games that go an hour long, but how many of them start involving mass trade? It's very difficult to pull off, whereas using a Guildhall well at 60 minutes in, you literally just press one button, have it start stockpiling. It's not exactly something that requires your attention every 10 seconds. And as you were saying that, we still have some games where the players sometimes forget to completely click that button. And <laughs> we end up with like a kill total of like 150,000 resources. It's actually yeah, become much like more rare, but... Thing. Yeah, that, that's like a happy thing, Lydia. You're like, oh crap, oh, my game's over. Oh, wait a second, I got 6,000 gold. It Whereas like, could you imagine if you forgot to use your donkeys for a good 30 minutes? Like... Wait a second. Where's all my trade go? Oh, crap. Look at that from Mista. He's afraid of a dog snake. And this is something we talked about prior to the game that with the Abbasids, you want to expand to multiple lakes because it's relatively cheap for you to expand. Whereas with the French, you want to focus the water engagements to one or at maximum two pawns because it takes so much re or so many resources to build up those hawks. But I'm not even sure if these walls are going up because you have two wolves over there. Oh. <laughs> so look at here as he walks over here. He's, this he's is the revenge the of Puppy one. Paw. <laughs> he's like, I didn't make it. Neither of you can make it either. Dude, that's half the HP of a villager going to one wolf. And there's another one as he's going to make his way down the line. <laughs> and there is a scout heading that great way as well. Oh, man. Wait a second. That, that's a very delayed House of Wisdom, no? It's because he went hard on the fish. Like, you, any sieve you oh, play, you delay your tech timing because of the fish. Did you see the villager? Is she stuck? Oh, oh, I, are you stuck? Delete. Yeah, I think she was oh, stuck yeah, because oh, you yeah, had to delete, delete the walls. The oh, no. Oh, no. And the worst part is, like, he's going to be below half HP. When he walks up further, there's another wolf waiting. <laughs> Yo, your wing. Yo, what? let's go. It's because he doesn't want to go for extra TCs. He's going to go both yeah. dogs, both sides. He's already doing it, actually. Look at the left lake. He's building a dock there. He's setting up both fishing lines, so he doesn't care about land eco at all. Yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense, right? Like, you would still get a pretty reasonable bonus from fresh food stuff, but if you actually do the math, 
if most of your eco is in the form of fishing and you're only using one town center, it might pay off a lot sooner to grab the cheaper upgrades. Like you could easily squeeze in a lot of key eco upgrades, including the fishing upgrade, or you could also double up on a lot on feudal age aggression by just grabbing the cheaper blacksmith upgrades. I actually like it quite a lot here for Vista. And this suggests to me that he might just be going for a hard feudal timing. Like, you just mass up horsemen, because that's actually something remarkable you can do here. With the amount of fishing you have going, you can afford several stables worth of horseman production by two camels in. Uh, because yeah, think about it this way. Like, why would you follow up with economy wing in Castle Age? Like, what would change to you? In fact, it's going to be even less um, reasonable for you to follow up with economy wing in Castle. I think this is culture into military. And yeah, that means I camels, or that could mean camels. I don't think Mr. even wants Castle, though. I think he wants to get a GG out of being in Feudal with this build. And the, you definitely have Camels in there, but they'll be for the Aura because it's remarkable against the French, removing 20% damage from their Royal Knights they always build. Yeah. The other cool thing is, like, just having a few Camel Arches in the mix might deter B away from getting the counter of Spears. Um, something that the French yeah. don't like to build anyway. Like, how often do we see French players building racks at the highest level? And we often underappreciate how effective Abbasids can be when it comes to flooding army out. This is a powerful civilization in Feudal. Usually just see them playing passive because their best way to build a lead is to go fast Feudal into two town centers. But if you think about it, this civilization has a ton of food income. You could even move a couple of villagers to berries for some extra food income. And they can focus all their economy on food and wood here. Because all they're making is spearmen, horsemen, camel archers, maybe some food archers. All of those cost food and wood. So if you yeah. focus all your economy on that, you could easily get yourself a really good flood of units that actually, to a certain extent, can even match a Delhi flood. Yeah, I think the thing that gets discredited away from the Abbasids that they're remarkable at is the fact that they can actually afford so many units early on because of a combination of fresh foodstuffs and how good berries are gathering. Although you don't have fresh foodstuffs, you only have one TC, and you are also now benefiting from better gathering rates than berries. Because the fish, on the deep water fish at least, it's going to be one food a second. If you're on the berries, even with the increased gathering rates, it doesn't even compare to that. Like, the base rate is 0 0.66, and you're getting an additional 30% on top of that. It, it's pretty meager in comparison. True, but you have to calculate in the travel distance. With berries, it's much shorter. So, yeah, like, the effective sure. gather rate is probably comparable for the two. But the problem is the berries run out a lot quicker than yeah. the deep water fish. Like, each deep water fish is a 1,000 food. The berry patch is like just you know, 500 now. by default. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You, you only increase it by an extra 100 on each. So like overall, you're not getting gate, uh, the, the best of gains there long term. But you see, it's also the, less safe. Mm. And, and this is where it gets interesting. We talked about this a lot. You go onto water, that delays your feudal age, which also means that B, B being relatively slow to feudal age for French standards, he doesn't have a standing army right now. And you see he's being overrun already by Spearman. Archer is not popping out right now. It's only two barracks. He's just bodying him. Is he? Yeah. Oh my god! It's I, it's, a, it's an FC. It's a mass spear. It's it's a mass spear. Like he's just gonna he's going to try to like body him hard. Yeah, he can go castle, but like he can also just build. I I don't even want to like guesstimate how many spears. If he just non-stop churns them out, B won't be able to actually match the pace, especially with this castle up that you just mentioned coming out. Like B is behind in the fishing because of his early movements. Yeah, and the thing is, I, I absolutely love what Mist is doing right now because. He is forcing archers, large amounts of archers from B there with the Spearman Flood. And there is the military wing coming in. And you can easily convert that to a Lancer or a Man at Arms ploy. Especially oh, with the wow. newly buffed Mangonels. This is a deadly combo. B might not even have an idea about this yet. And this is why I say you can just push Spears. Because the Mangonels you mentioned. Like the Spears counter out the Knights. And then Mangonels deal with the archers. That's everything French players do at this point in the game. And also, this particular French player is going to be stuck here a lot longer. Because he went for that secondary TC away from his main base. This isn't going to be a fast castle up. It rarely ever is for the French. But he's probably going to be caught off guard by the time for Mister. Because Mister has already feigned aggression. Yes, he hasn't got multi-TC. But he has got multi-docks. And that might make B think that he's just zerging already. Little does he know. Although he's zerging, he's doing it at a controlled pace that will unlock Castle Age much quicker than B. And the thing is that he's still building spears, which I love. So he is not going to just reach Castle Age and have zero army on the battlefield. He's going to have a significant amount of units on the battlefield already. So the moment he reaches Castle, he can fully focus on making the Castle Age army that is mostly men at arms. Additional sales also coming nice. in for him, boosting his fishing eco. And the did, did he get the preservation of knowledge though? Video. Did I see a full price on that upgrade? Did we get preservation of knowledge? 
if you check the house of wisdom we can see like okay he, he got it yeah he, okay he got that, it. He that's fine got it. Like, I, I would have been surprised like it's literally the only thing okay. you, it's the only reason you get culture wing basically yeah <laughs> like, obviously <laughs> So yeah, the, the cool thing as well is Mist is now, like he delayed getting the Phalanx because he didn't go on the offensive, so he gets that cheaper as well. Phalanx is a very big deal here. It can double your damage in a melee mosh pit. Also very important up against French Knights because if you get the initial brace out, usually what happens is the spearman that braces is also stunned alongside the knight. But with Phalanx, units behind that stunning unit can then attack. It means that you can actually easily snipe out several of these knights if B miss micros for even a second in these engagements. Especially exactly. with boot camp. Ooh. Yeah, it's the body. It's just literally going to be a body of spears. He's, he's genuinely just going to build crap tier units to overwhelm B. Yeah, this is, this is going to be scary for B. Now, B is working his way towards Castle Age as well, as Mista reaches Castle in this very moment. He's also dropping some houses as well, very close to that House of Wisdom. I think he wants to grab that second tier of Golden Age as well. And now the question becomes, how is B going to respond to this? And am I seeing... Oh, th th that was a... That was, that was a... Institute. Yeah, that was an that institute. Was and he yeah, replaced it elsewhere. It's the only way he can go. So, but the tough part about this is like, B is now not scaling and Mr. is. So Mr. is going to be ahead of him. The other issue to consider here is like, you're not getting Castle to get anything great, if you think about it. Like, usually the argument is, I'm French, I now have Arbor the Trees. Arbor the Trees don't get any benefit up against Spears. You can keep pushing Archers, yes, but you're not necessarily playing into a one-up scenario because they're still going to be vulnerable to Maganels. Maganels, the Abbasids can build in the field. It's one of the unique elements of this Civ. Yeah, and this is something that allows you to double down on that aggression so, so effectively. And it also makes it very difficult for French to respond to this, because what would you do against those mass spearmen? Maybe archers. What would you do against mass men-at-arms? Maybe you go for your arbalatrie. All of those will be impossible to pull off, simply because you're going to be facing a large amount of mangonels in the next few minutes. Mm -hmm. And like, B, yeah... The, the whole concept behind what he's doing, like, yeah, you get your tech up, you can, like, get your upgrade in quality, but, like, you have to question mark whether you have quantity yet. And if you don't have quantity yet, like, it's not worth doing because we've seen this so often at the moment. When players try to rush castle and their opponent is just massing, they can overwhelm your base. And because Mr. beat you to the punchline, like, he is only going to be massing at this stage. Spears are starting to stack up. He's even getting some archers and crossbows in the mix as well. So he is one step ahead. Arbitrary is being built by B, but these Arbitrary have very limited value in this situation. The only thing they might do is encourage Mr. Further to build into Siege. And that forward round. outpost also coming up here for a staging ground. Looks like the villagers will so be intercepted is. here. That's actually pretty big. No tower going up means no spring golden placement and reinforcements getting picked off by the knight. Candle settles yeah, just now finishing. But, but look at his numbers, Lytical. Like, he, he can't take a fight. This is the issue when you tech up like this. Like, you don't have 20 archers, for example, that scare these spearmen. Mister, especially with the boot camp, the extra 50% health is like, I don't care that you do bonus damage against me. I have so many units that do the baby damage that they're going to overwhelm you anyway. And despite the fact you block the outpost, you don't block a good fight for Mister as he continues to dive into your base behind this, building up the siege that will obliterate your arbitrary transition. This is looking really difficult right now for B, but Mr. also has to be swift. Like, if he lets B build up his numbers inside his base, there is still a recovery path. But I don't think that he's going to let him do that. 54 army against only 9. Like, you could just right-click inside the base of B right now and overrun him, plain and simple. And he's going for the gambuses, but like, you, this is once again like the bait of this situation. You don't have the units to justify it. And I don't think you're going to get them. Not in the Arbitrary Department. All the Archer Rangers are forward facing here. They're going to be exposed quickly. Remember, Mister's already built one Maganel. You can build two or three of these. They're still decent at sieging buildings. And they're justified when you see your opponent continues to push Archers and Arbors like this. And in fact, I wouldn't be surprised at this rate if B can't keep up the Arbor push and chooses just to go fully into Archers. But he, he needs wood for that. And he's running oh God, out of oh wood. God, oh God, oh God. All the Lumberjacks being chased around. I, I, I don't know, like, he won't have resources to make army. He's getting flooded. He's being overrun. He has one thing he can build still. It's the Arbors because of the secondary TC. But, like, you don't feel good doing this. They're not going to benefit from this. The other issue with the Harbor Tree is they're very easy to snipe out for these Maganels, and the Pavis doesn't save you because, for some godforsaken reason, Maganels don't have their damage reduced by range resistance. Oh man, once again, Lumberjacks stranded over here. They at least do have tech stalls, but it's never good when your villagers are fighting spearmen, especially when there is so many of those They're spears. so tanky. They're yeah. so tanky, Lytical. And it's the idle time, right? right now. Like, like it, 
<laughs> They're actually this fighting is not back sustainable. with their shields, but it's not even fast. And now look, it's man at arms as well. And the Arbler trees, like, he hasn't got them. Before it was only spears, he started to put archers again. He delayed the Arbor push, and now once again, it's heavily discounted by Mister. Mister about to exceed the, the eco pop cap of B. Yeah, I mean, he needs to know. He knows that right now, half of his opponent is Eco, is fighting off his men at arms. So he can just flood units in. Steady 40 plus army numbers for Mist over here. B is struggling with the numbers here, big time. He's he's still at 14. And I mean, technically, Mister could oh drop one or two battering rams, start rampaging those production buildings in a second. Did he just wield the Maganel all the way past the TC casually? I think he did. He actually did. And you can see that B is desperately trying to reach it, but one or two knights is not going to cut it. And if the mango just reaches your back line, where all your villagers are, that is going to be GG. It won't insta-kill them due to the textiles, but the splash damage alone is just going to heavily whittle them down, and most of them are already injured due to the spearman dive from earlier. You still have to be careful here for Mista, because you're constantly fighting under town centers, and let's keep in mind that the eco is still oh there for B. God. If this push stalls oh. out, B has a recovery arc. Mister B has to be careful here. There. B just dodged F there. Mister started to wrap east, but he didn't find the dock in the end, so he went back towards the base. If he spots that out, that halves your food eco. At which stage, B won't be able to keep up with this demand. Like, look at his numbers right now. It looks great on the income per minute, but he's spending it all instantly. He can't get the units out quick enough, which is why he's struggling to actually build up at a mass that can match Mister. Mister still with over double the military pop cap in the field. Yeah, but I mean, Mister hasn't been increasing in numbers, and B did. I, I still think that Mista is in a really good position over here, but if you look at the Ecos, as I said, if B can stall this out a little bit, and it might be possible because most of this is light infantry, which cannot really sustain fights for long enough under town centers, then B still has a chance to buffer this up, slow the game down, and slowly build up his numbers, and ultimately when he gets to Arboletria and the Archers, he will be able to take some reasonable engagements. I think He's B is still analytical. possibly fine. M Mr. just slowed down. Mr. just slowed down because he realized what's happening here. He's now building the mangoes. Look at the ratio for B. B only has four melee units, 25 ranged. Two Maganels will decimate his army. And another issue for B right now is that back wood line is about done. So his eco will move to the front line as well. If he loses a fight here, he can't stay in this game because he won't have access to wood anymore. And he wouldn't be able to add Springholds even to deal with those Mangonels now. First no. Mangonel is out there. This is not a fight that you can take for B. Like, he is still in a really difficult spot here. This needs to be a long game for him to recover. The economy is there, the map control isn't. In fact, he's very lucky that he's got that expansion town center to the left, because that's the only reason why he still has access to, like, safe and reasonable resources. And, oh, the villager is going to spot the dog. This could be oh, game-changing. No. Because now Mr. knows. he didn't see last time. And he builds a dock right next to it. Maybe you shouldn't have torched to reveal what you're doing. It's time for the bugle. We'll oh, oh uh, yoink. Yeah, that, that, that was a bit too ambitious. <laughs> no bug last the today, I guess. Though, look at what Mr.'s now got. Double mango. Double mango that can just delete a regiment of archers here. Now, this, this TC is starting to boom to a point where like you'll need to use it for other things than gold and it might start to reveal because I think up to this point Mister doesn't know about this otherwise he would have struck at it because if you shut down the gold there like B wouldn't have been able to keep pushing Arbor the Trees the way he has you have to be somewhat suspicious though because where is B getting this gold otherwise? Yeah and as Core has shown us Mister hasn't even scouted this part of the map so Mister is unaware of that gold mining operation there and that is the number one target for him right now like if he manages to shut that down it's game over for B B desperately needs a defensive castle to buffer this up and slow the game down, but he's very far away from that. He only has 200 stone in the bank. And the worst part about this is like you're in a corner, so if this does get spawned and Mr. gets in position, like you probably don't get these villagers out. Half of them at least are gonna die, and that'd be a heavy hit for him right now. As it stands, B has got a big villager lead now. 113 eco units compared to 86 of Mr. Mr. who's wholly reliant on the fish and Folks, make no mistake, Mister in a dominant position, but he is on the clock, not just because of the fact that B has two TCs, it's because you're relying on deep water fish. And although they do regenerate over time, it takes quite a lot of time. And there's a lot of strain right now onto those ponds from the amount of fishing boats that Mister has built. And look at the army numbers. It's 60 to 79, or now 80. So the discrepancy is getting smaller and smaller over here. As you said, B is still cornered in here. And if this keep goes up for Mister, it's going to be oh, even more difficult for B. But if B wants to take a fight, this might be the time to do it. He is waiting for crossbow stirrups. He already has royal bloodlines. Well, that's a lot of spearmen to fight against. Can he take this engagement here? 
The villagers have been pulled as well, so they've been shivved upon oh. by the spearmen. Wrap around with the knights. Under the villagers building up the keep. The Mangonels trying to wheel in on top of the archers here. Archers are backing up for the moment. Heavy shot coming in. Decent damage done, but the knights are massacring the villager line. This That's is gonna be not tight. going to be It's not going it's up. It's not going to be good enough. He can't get it. There's not enough villagers here. He needs to recommit the forces. Springles to take out the mangoes and take out the army. Oh, Mr. Still for villagers. Stop from putting the final nail in the coffin. Oh, he oh, might really? get it. He might One get really? it. What oh. really? The archers. Oh, he's got to oh, be from the start. Oh, 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 no. Oh, that is a 99.9% .9 keep denied and a swing in the battle. The army numbers suddenly dead even. Mister losing 20 villagers building that keep. 150 population against 120. Such a quick swing. Mister is pulling everybody for that keep. He's going to get it up. But what's the price that you pay for such a keep to be built? Uh, Mister missed it in this situation. He's going to try to recalibrate. Is it another villager pull? In this situation, you double down, and he will be able to double down. Tap the hammer once, tap it twice, and you are done. Keep is up. Staging point here. B will need to back up, or he's going to get massacred underneath this keep. Mister gets a second lifeline to stabilize here, but it costs him dearly. And now B. Wait, is he going to yoink the stone and build a keep? He is. That's 43 villages right now. That's a lot of villagers to talk about. And look at that area. We talked about this one at the beginning of the game. This is an area which features a tremendous amount of resources. All these resources are confined into very tight spaces, and B is going to have a ton of resources available over here. Oh, also, buddy. the big gold mines. It's just he, he's going to drain the stone instantly because he already has 100 stones. So if he gets all this, that's double keep. He can drop one here next to the, the ship yard, and then he can drop one next to the base of Mister. Like, he can actually shut him out. Mister is on the forward wood line as well, so somewhat exposed. He's moving across now with a few troops, but you can see the outposts are already going up. Two in place for B. Two units alone will not dish out enough damage to stop There's a the B from doing this. <laughs> and the Tao is trying, but it's not going to be good enough. The added damage out from the outpost will get rid of that threat. If I yeah. this wolf feels like a bigger threat. Yeah, 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 you get the feel. I mean, that Dao, it tried his best. And now Mr. is spamming units in there, but that also relieves the pressure from the base of B. Let's not forget that. Spearman being sent to the left or Spearman being s no, or not being sent into the base of B. That's a big what thing. Is this game? Oh, what is this game? Such this, this game a level of craziness. I, we said it at the start. We, we said these two players, they don't play meta. They play their game. And they're both playing it right now, trying to play each other. The Spearman, though, begin to massacre. B is not pulling off this. He hasn't even got one keep worth yet. Yeah, I mean, you get the feel Wait, that this is a Kamikaze not. stone mining operation. Well, he must be, he must, has he placed a keep? He must have enough for a keep by now. No, that no he's like at 700. Very, very now he's got 800. I think he bought it. What? Where is he placing it, though? I'm going to um... debate that graphic. I'm debating this graphic right now. That does not look like a full or even half full stone outcropping to me. Oh, it must be because it's uh, it sunk in the ground. There, there, there's more villagers you can pull from the towers, but he's keeping them inside yeah. because he needs the firepower. They're dying too fast. They're yeah, dying like, too fast, Lidicor, cool because the phalanx. Yeah, you're losing. Like, you're trading villagers here to Spearman, but that's not a good trade for you. That castle's not going up. <laughs> oh my god. That is going to be a castle <laughs> denied. If Mr.'s keep before was a doubt castle, what the hell do you call this one? Uh, I mean, complete collapse. How is that? that sound? When the expansion was found. The expansion was found. Now it gets worse. Now it gets worse because Mr. Like, after all that, look at the eco comparison. B had a phenomenal lead in the village department, but now they've both shrunk 91 to 77. By the way, B built a monastery like 10 minutes ago, and he's yet to pick up the first one. This is how chaotic this game is, and you see, now we have a spring golden placement on those towers trying to repel this, but that's gonna be a keep that is denied, and I think if it goes down, you lost all the stone that you've worked so, so hard for. Still a bit how... of an eco lead here for B, though. How long has B had this monastery? I swear it's been several minutes now, and he Ten doesn't minutes. have a single uh, relic. Ever since he reached Castle well, that was the first thing he did on the left side. I'm not joking. Like, do, do, does he just like, is he a regular church goer? He's definitely not doing it to make the, the tithes off of the gatherings of people around his shiny relics because we are <laughs> 10 minutes later than that and he has zero relics in this game. Uh, looks like we do have a trebuchet setting up here though. So Mista will be forced to repair that keep on the front line over here. Still using good old fashioned wood for repairs, something that will change in the future to stone. 
You know, just for immersion, I know that Beast loves that word, and he has his opinions on that. It... Hey, man, I, I, I'm all for that change. Oh, yeah, Beast is in chat, I, I've so... I've highlighted already there needs like it needs to be everything needed. So like when you don't have enough food for a villager and you click it, it should just start hovering the, the text food needed. Alright, I want everyone to be shamed when they inefficiently use their eco. Uh, finally, finally relics wow, are now coming that. in. That's pretty cool actually. So if, if we work this out, at no. this sort of no. average, uh B could have all five relics by the hour mark. Uh, did it did they just pick it up? <laughs> 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 I mean, he's baiting us. He's just, you know, he's sitting back at home. Like, he's listening to the cost and saying, wait a minute, these guys are thinking I'm picking up relics. I'm not gonna do that. Just to clarify, there is five minutes delay on this. So obviously, B is not listening to us, but he is throwing in a bait for us for sure. Oh, this is about to catch B off guard. This is a transition, and I don't think it's been scouted out. A few Lancers could dive in here and kill off a lot of these villies. They're pretty condensed right now. Or he, just Spearman. Like, I mean, he's got 50 Spearman oh, on the he's battlefield. Going. He's With going phalanx. for it. With Phalanx Lytical, so their attack range has increased. They're torching sooner, and he's just going for the landmarks. It's a yeah, he's design. going for landmark snipe, actually. All three landmarks on the same screen here. With Heave. no chance for B to build a fourth one. Heave. And what's your counter? Arbitrees and Horsemen? Hmm. Yeah, where's, where's the counter to the Spears right now? It doesn't exist. He's going to back up for the moment to get rid of the infrastructure, but he can slowly just siege down this base with Spears alone. I wouldn't be surprised if Mister uses this proxy base to build even more racks. He's got 1,500 stone in the bank as well. You get the feel that he's getting ready for multiple castle drops over here. But he's up against a little too many archers, so he needs something against that, and he's waiting patiently. He's waiting for the horseman switch, and he's ready to jump on those archers. Horsemen also coming in here for B. It looks like we're just gonna have a charge of the Light Brigade here in the middle of the map. Light Cap v Light Cap between the two. Spread now. Looks like B is gonna have to back away from this. That's why the Royal Bloodlines doesn't want to fight. That's gonna expose some of his seats. He needs to be careful about that. It's Mister, that's the target he wanted. Torches out, trip down. Worthwhile, maybe loses two or three horsemen, but that's a 750 siege unit dead. But that's not just it. He moves into the Magna as well. 600 resource siege unit gone. And B, remember, he can't build siege in the field, so every one of these going down, it's a hefty wait time to replace them. Especially oh, if you also are gonna have your spring bolt picked off and a keep being dropped on the left side. Counter keep, once again, it is dangerous for B. Can he get that keep up? Dangerous to both? Look yeah, at the both actually, these positionings. Actually, B. this is going up. This, this gotta go up. Yeah, yeah, B is protected uh, because of his own uh, buildings. The melee watch pit can't actually engage. So it looks like keep is gonna go up, but it's not exactly covering every area of base. It'll at least protect the small wood lines. And looks like Mister is gonna be a bit more contained. He backs up and places a keep near these little studded forest areas so that B can't keep exploiting them long term. Oh man, more keeps coming in here for Mister. Keep in mind that B is still, to a certain extent, cornered within his base. So he is going to have issues controlling resources as compared to Mista here. New dog being placed will be probably immediately taken down by the Spearman. I'm actually curious how we're doing on Deepfish. We still have quite a lot to work with, so they're not running out anytime soon, according to the minimap. Yeah, of course, when they do run out, they slowly regenerate. It is a slow process, though. In fairness, they, they've been There's kind a fishing of ship having a seizure. What? Sir? This is how little yeah, fishing ships hey, are hey, made. Buddy, I'm, I'm buddy, sorry. Yeah, you better slow down or you're going to set fire. Oh, the there we go. <laughs> we got here three of them now. Ooh. As I said, this is how little fishing ships are made, ladies and gentlemen. That's the wiggling cat right there. The wiggling cat <laughs> gif. Ooh. Another keep, by the way. Yeah, and it's the seats behind it now. He should yeah. be transitioning into traps. You know, like, he's getting dangerously close. He can start driving down those landmarks, and you mean... The starting TC already has taken a beating, so it's not going to take that much time to get rid of that, but finally, B gets the castle up in the left side, and that's a ton of gold for him to work with, plus a very good angle to launch raids into the base of Mr. From. He's launching it on the wrong side, though, Lita, because all the wood line for Mr. is on the south side of his base. You need to be careful when you rush through those trade points, because if you spear can hold you at bay... Oh. Freebie, that trebuchet is an easy snipe out. And Mister, he's gonna have to be fast on this. He wants to get about four trebuchets and then he can just rush in with the spearman to try and landmark snipe. It could work he also really has well 30 here. horsemen. He also yep. has 30 horsemen over here. 
He's probably going to focus down. In fact, he should focus down the Royal Institute at the back. And here comes the horseman. He's going for it. And Blood there in. is no army here for B. No, nothing yeah, to stop this way. And you can't actually counter raid this. You can't actually counter attack because the House of Wisdom with the extra torch resistance is too resistant to the damage. And you're too far behind. And B, he has to get back to base, but instead he's in too deep. He can't. And look at B's army. So 43 archers, barely any knights, barely any spearmen. What do you have against oh a horseman? And even if you can't destroy all these buildings, you just need to damage them heavily because the trebuchets will finish it. You just need to do enough yeah. damage for the traps to finish it from a distance. Now, Royal Institute set on fire. Villagers have to be bought for the repairs. Otherwise, B will lose all his landmarks here. And no chance for him to just go into Imperial, try and get himself another landmark over here. One landmark but on B fire, one destroyed. Him. And now... He doesn't have the resources. Like, his wood isn't high enough to repair these fast School enough. School of like, Cavalry under attack. That's it? Yeah. You, you repair now or you're out. He needs to cut across here. The only thing coming across right now is military units, though. That's going to be a hard commitment. Mr. Identifies it's over. Of cavalry. Course, There's no way he saves it. Down. He's done it. It's Mister, over. The double, the triple down, the dunk that sticks B down. One up on the board. I can't believe this was only game one. Oh, my goodness, Mr. Beautifully executed over here. I mean, this game was just a beauty to watch. So many different things that we have witnessed here. The pawn controls, the cheeky plays to wall off the and prevent the enemy from dropping docks on you. All the crazy castle placements, the failed castles, the completed castles, the, the seemingly comeback style scenario from B, where he actually built up his numbers. He took an insane fight. Killed like 25 villagers, wiped out the entire army of Mista, but ultimately Mista finishes off the landmarks. And just look at that dip in there at like 20 minutes. It seemed like B will have a recovery arc in this, but ultimately, Mista finishes him off and moves on to match point in the semifinals. What a way to do this. Like, this is the double time I've been talking about. It's the fact that when you commit to a strategy, sometimes you just have to make that clutch decision to throw it all in, right? You know, you might not have the best, like, you have, like, the poker table, you've got, like, a, a, a I don't know, pair of tents. You're like, well, you know, at this point, if I kind of tap out and I've already put half of like my savings into the center, I'm already screwed. Let's just try for the gamma. Let's go for all and let's see what you've got. And that's exactly what you've done. That secondary villager pool saved the game for Mister. If